Hey, I'm Brian Van, Sport Bike Track Today we're going to break down the all new Scorpion Covert FX full face helmet. The Scorpion Covert FX helmet retails from $249 to $299. That's going to go from solid colors up to your graphics. Please understand we don't update these videos for pricing changes only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. Who is this helmet right for? This helmet was designed for street riders who saw the look of that Covert helmet, right? Remember the one with the removable chin bar, right? But just wanted more safety, security, and comfort that is delivered by a full face helmet. What's in the box? This helmet ships with the dark smoke screen already installed, a chin curtain already installed, and they also include in this little shield carry bag a clear screen. So if you want to go from light to dark, a very easy shield swap and you're going to be there. We're going to show you how to do that later in this video. It's super easy to do. This is probably one of the easiest shield changes you're ever going to see. Helmet fit. I measure 58 centimeters on the money intermediate oval head shape. Their size chart recommends a medium for me. That's what we have here. I wore it in my office for probably about an hour at my desk. It fit and felt great. I've always been a big fan of the Scorpion helmets, the Covert FX full face. I like this one too. This isn't a helmet that I would necessarily ride and it's more of a street-based helmet, but I can tell you the fit is spot on. Helmet weight. This helmet weighs 3.2 pounds in a size medium on our shipping scale. Bluetooth compatibility. This helmet was designed to accept any of the aftermarket universal communication systems. We're going to do a couple of videos, I think with a Cardo in the next week or so. Super easy to install. They have really nice pockets that we're going to show you for the speakers. It makes the install a breeze. Ventilation. That's an important feature to all of us. We've got our chin vent right here. The styling of it's super cool. There's a switch on the inside of the chin bar. I believe up is the open position. Down is closed. You have another intake vent here on the top. Over to the right is open. And then you have an exhaust vent that's always open here on the back of the helmet built into that diffuser. How much air is this going to move? This isn't going to move as much air as, say, a high-end race helmet that's full of vents, but they did do some channeling in the EPS that really helps to move the air from front to back and keep the rider cooler. So I would imagine this helmet is going to perform quite well in the ventilation area. Shell construction. This is a fiberglass shell, right? Good and strong, that leans more towards the high end of helmets. Safety standards. This is certified to both DOT as well as the ECE 2206 certified. What's the level of noise I expect from this? As long as the helmet fits you appropriately, which is the number one factor in noise production, the helmet has to fit right. A lot of the noise is kept out by having a good fit here at the jawline and then having the chin curtain in place. That's all included with this helmet, so you get a good fit. I think the noise, especially considering there's not a tremendous amount of ventilation, is going to be pretty sublime. Glasses compatibility. We're going to show you some B-roll on this right now. Scorpion's always done a great job with that. The glasses literally slide right in. They ride right where you want them to, and they feel excellent. Shield. The shield has a little tab right here on the left side to help you open and close it. You'll see right here at the bottom when you push it, and there's multiple detents too if that's important to you. When you get it to the bottom, a little push down, that is going to lock it in place. To remove the shield, unlock it, raise it up partially, grab it right here, and just pull out. Off it comes, it literally just slides right in. To reinstall it, like any other shield, actuate it a couple of times to make sure you got it before you go out and ride in it. I found it works best somewhere right around the midpoint. Just grab it like that, 
and just go ahead and pull it right out. Interior of the helmet. The chin curtain is removable to get it out. There are some snaps in between the chin EPS and the backing of the chin curtain itself. Kind of get your thumb and or finger in there, release the snaps. You can see the molded plastic. Here are the two snaps. It's held in place nicely. It's not very difficult to remove. To remove the cheek pads, like let's say you're gonna install a Bluetooth communicator device and you need to remove the cheek pads to get that done. Go ahead and slide your fingers in between the backing of the cheek pads and the EPS of the helmet. There are three snaps, one at the front, one at the top, and then one at the rear. Go ahead and pull the cheek pad out like so. And from here, grab the back of the cheek pad, pull the whole pad towards the rear a little bit, and there is a tab that you need to get it released from. It's right about there. Mirror image on the other side. Get your three snaps. Pull that back. Pull back. Out it comes. Top pad. We have two snaps here at the back. You get to the front. Right here at the brow of the helmet, there are going to be a couple of snaps. You need to slide your finger underneath the tab that is stitched to the top pad and push out. Let's go ahead and have a look at the interior. Quality is excellent. You know, considering this is kind of a, a mid-price point helmet, the quality of the interior looks fantastic. It feels great when you have it on your head. Now inside, look at all the channeling there in the EPS that helps with airflow and ventilation, right? That's something we've seen some other helmet manufacturers do over the years. I've ridden with helmets like that. I can assure you it's definitely effective. Here is the pocket for the uh, Bluetooth communicator. It's plenty deep. There's a little channel for the wires to run back so you're able to hide everything quite nicely. Here is the switch up front in the chin bar for the vent. Up is open, down is closed. There you have it. Here is our review of the Scorpion Covert FX Full Face Helmet. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I'm always here to help you choose the right helmet for your next ride.